Hi there, in this video today we're going to change over the tiny little pump impeller on this hot point Aquarius and this one here is TCFS93. So what's happening with it is it keeps telling me to either clean the condenser or clean the filter and it makes beeping noises at me so it's not pumping correctly. Now I think this isn't going to fix it in my instance but it might fix it in your instance. You can buy these for just a few pound off eBay so I think it's well worth trying to do it before worrying about having to replace the whole unit down here and also it's going to be a very easy job to get to. Now I've already been in here once to clean out the float and stuff because it was all full of gunk so that might be your problem but it still has it's made mine better but it still hasn't fixed it. So in order to get into it all we have to do is undo this screw here and this screw here. Obviously make sure you're unplugged don't work on it when it's plugged in. So these are just cross head screws Now what we have to do is we need to whack it backwards to unclip it from the front. I'm going to use a bit of force here and here. There we go. And now you can see that it lifts off. So now when you've removed the top, there's a little screw to undo here. Again, a little Phillips and also four screws down the side. One, two, three, four. This will allow the side panel to come off, which will give us access to the clips to undo this. So let's undo them now. This one at the front is a smaller screw, so keep it separate to the others. Now, similar to the top, we have to lift it out here. We've got to push it towards the back because of the clips down the bottom. Let me just show you that. So you can see the way it's been clipped down the bottom, so we've got to basically push it towards the back to undo it, like that. And now it will lift out. Right, so we're looking at the side of the machine now. This is the bit that we want to unclip. So basically there's a clip inside here and just inside here. Now on this machine it's broken, but there would have been a little post sticking up here and you've got to move this to the side in order to be able to push it out. So this one obviously is no longer clipped, but we have got one right the way underneath here. So it's deep down inside here. So basically what I have to do is I have to get the screwdriver and I have to move the clip like this on the back one just away. And that then will allow me to push it outwards. So let me show you that now. So I'm reaching in here and I'm pushing it. And I think that's gone. Yep. Yes, it has. Right, let's go to the back. Now on your one, it will be a little bit harder because you've got two clips to undo. Right, so you can see that I'm loose here now. So now we're gonna basically lift it up from underneath here and there's another clip just here and here. Right, okay, that kind of snapped up rather than unclipping up, but nothing is actually broken. They are still intact. Now that will allow us to lift this off here. Again, another clip over this side. I'm using a flathead screwdriver to undo the, the clips around the place. Ta-da! We are here. So, originally this was absolutely full of gunk because if you use some sort of like fabric softener and stuff like that when you're washing your clothes I think a lot of it ends up here but you can see here this is the float so for example if it was never pumping out it could be that your floats stuck yeah because this has to go up and listen can you see well, can you hear it does the micro switch so basically we have a little micro switch just here and when you lift the float up you can hear it clicking. Now, if this was all gunked up in here, it's not gonna be able to lift up, you see. So it won't know to turn the pump on. Right, okay, our little impeller is in this bit here. So we've got four clips here, one, two, three, four, and two here. So there's six clips in total that we have to undo. And they can be a bit fiddly because when you undo one and then go over the other side, <laughs> that one over that side will then reclip itself. But if you can put a bit of pressure on it down, you should be able to get to it. There we 
we go. Excellent. And that's it out. And you can see now the little impeller here. So let's just take it off. And that's it there. So as I say, in my instance, I'm not sure if this is going to fix the problem. But it's a nice, easy, cheap way of doing it. And quite quick to get to as well. Right, let's see if it looks any different. Uh, the only real difference is that the hole's smaller in the middle. So maybe... I don't know, maybe it's not spinning properly because the hole's too big in the middle. Maybe there's warm there rather than these blades being warm. Right, so it doesn't look like there's a right and wrong way to put it on because it's not like a, a propeller from a plane. It's just completely flat all the way around. So let's pop it back on. You never know, it might fix it. But if not, you can buy the whole unit here. But obviously it's going to cost about 15 times the price than just buying that. Right, so that's back in there now. Let's clip this back in. Obviously clean it up if it's all dirty. Make sure all the clips are back in all the way around. Here we go, my little uh, floats popped out. Put that back in, there we go. Right, and now we can pop this back in here. Again, give it a clean. You can see that mine is actually pretty clean. There's a bit of fluff in there, so I'm just gonna get a cloth and wipe that out. And that's the hole where it comes through the machine on the left hand side, just down there, comes out of here and then gets pumped out off. In my instance, this pipe here, that just goes into a saucepan for the moment, but I normally have that go into the washing machine drain. But normally you would have the pipe going from here, going up to here, and then you would empty your water out from here. Right, so I'm gonna put this all back together now. So the, uh, the wires go through these little bits here which then go through this bit here. That all clips in, you can see also, I didn't see that earlier, but there was a clip, there's a clip around the back here as well, just here. Okay, that's gone into there, and listen. There you go, clips in. And if there was the post in there, that would have clipped in there. So that's it, we are now back together. What I'm going to do is put the side panel on and then the top panel and we will be done. Right, make sure you put it on the right way around with the little hole at the front of the machine. No hole this side. And we need to just locate it into the pegs at the bottom and then push it here and we need to push it then forward. There we go, I'm going to put the small screw in the top. And now we're going to drop the four screws around the back. Right, now we've got to put the lid on, so we're going to be putting the front in first, like so, and then it will just lever down. There we go and the two screws at the back. Right, that's it. I'm going to put some wet clothes in there now and let's see if it, it takes out any water. And then if it does, I can put it in the garage and see how it operates over the next few weeks. Right, so the clothes are on now. You can see condensation on the door there and it has gathered up some water. This is a condenser dryer, obviously. That's the reason why it's gathering water like that. So, in this instance, I'm not sure if it's gonna fix it or not, for, but for the sake of a few pounds and 20 minutes off my time, I think it was worth it. So you never know, it could be a simple fix like that on your machine. If not, maybe just cleaning it out the back will help it. So uh, yeah, if this video has helped you out, give it a massive thumbs up. I will just show you the eBay listing so you know what it was titled, just in case you can't find it but I've got a feeling that these are the same ones in numerous different machines. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.